So I'm Ralf Wiegmann, I'm German. I was born in Germany, in the northern part of Germany. I'm 62 years old. Pretty happy to be in Chengdu again. 下午两点半，从德国汉诺威市远道而来的拉尔夫刚刚抵达成都。拉尔夫是 IF 国际论坛设计公司的总裁。作为成都的老朋友，每年十一月，他都会来这里参加成都创意设计周。刚下飞机，拉尔夫就迫不及待地想要品尝他想念已久的成都美食。拉尔夫公司创办的德国 IF 设计奖是世界工业设计类最权威的大奖，与德国红点设计大奖、美国 ID 二奖。并称为世界三大设计奖，而拉尔夫也因此成为了各大设计论坛上炙手可热的演讲嘉宾。Let's welcome our host. We have speakers, international speakers, who are going to share their experiences and their visions how a creative city can be created, but at the same time, and even more important, how it can stay to be an creative city. 从二零一七年起，拉尔夫每年都将 IF 全球获奖作品和 IF 设计论坛带到成都创意设计周，并邀请世界顶尖设计机构带来最前沿的行业信息。So we have the city uh, uh, of Helsinki who is supporting, and then we we just we apply for funding for projects. Which we get from various foundations and, and ministries. And as you know, right now we are in the third generation of the Chinese, so the family is too big to be in the shop house. So everyone move out. The shop house was left left empty for I think over 30 years. And、uh, if you count in the capital region around Berlin. We have 60 million inhabitants. The Chengdu government, Sichuan government, had already identified design as a future-oriented discipline. We thought about content, right, and said, okay, what's a good content for Chengdu? And this year, it is about cities and city development. 拉尔夫所在的 IF 国际论坛设计公司成立于一九五三年。由德国汉诺威展览公司和德国工业协会共同创建，目的是通过工业设计的发展，助力德国工业的复苏。It was the time after World War II. At that time, exhibition business in Germany was a booming business, very important for Germany. 就在 IF 公司成立四年后，拉尔夫出生在汉诺威市一个普通的工人家庭中。拉尔夫小时候学习成绩并不理想，但特别擅长与人打交道。正当他对未来感到迷茫时，一次由当地劳工部门组织的能力面试彻底改变了他的命运。She said, "You know what? You have to do something related to languages. You have to do something where you can talk. You are good at talking. So, and maybe you should." Do something like sales or trade or things like that. 一九八一年，二十四岁的拉尔夫在汉诺威展览公司找到了一份策展人的工作
。凭借语言沟通的优势，拉尔夫很快在公司脱颖而出。一九九五年，汉诺威展览公司旗下的 IF 公司出现严重财务危机，老板找到拉尔夫，希望他来接管危在旦夕的 IF 公司。So、and then I went and said, OK, I think can be done. Then he said, OK, then you have two jobs now, but only one salary. 为了让 IF 起死回生，三十八岁的拉尔夫再次发挥自己过人的沟通能力，四处拜访设计师，深入了解客户的需求。And then I discussed with some award participants, and I said, but we have to raise the costs a little bit. So they say, okay, if it's only a little bit more, we pay. Fine. So we could raise the costs a little bit. Five years later, IF's finances gradually improved. So Lars led the team to enter the U.S. market. After 22 years of hard work, IF opened 12 offices in 12 countries. The IF Design Award also became the most influential award in the world. Four years later, Lars got an invitation from Chengdu. Chengdu contacted us and asked for some meetings and discussions. Not just tell us what they want, but really willing to exchange and really willing to learn from each other. What I appreciated very much. From that day on, Lars led the IF team, becoming one of the most important members of the Design Thinking Workshop. And in recent years, in the IF Design Award selection, the Chengdu artist's work has also won awards. I would say it's a nice group of Chengdu products because it's a variety. Say this is a very nice idea of using the inside of the bottle. You know, the, the quality of the material is very, very good. So that's why, why we think, or the judges at least thought, this is nicely done. Well, every year I find something interesting. Um, it's not only one award; there are several awards. Right?、Um, yes, there is always some pieces. Um, furniture or something where I would say really good. 看重成都设计行业的市场前景。两年前，拉尔夫和团队在成都成立了 IF 成都分公司。不仅如此 ，IF 成都设计中心也在成都高新区落成。First impression is always the most important. So this kind of configuration is very unique. I don't think there is any other design center doing something like that somewhere in the world. 为这个中心揭幕，正是拉尔夫此次成都之行的特殊任务。这一次，他将2020年 IF 设计新秀奖带到了成都。这是一个专门为全世界青年设计师和学生设立的奖项。我们共同来开启2020年 IF 设计新秀奖颁奖典礼，落户成都高新区的新鲜章，来大家掌声送上。谢谢。With Chengdu now we have a partner that will enable us to bring international students, talents from all over the world to Chengdu next year. And Chengdu、um, is hopefully pretty happy to get so many talented Chengdu's to Chengdu, who may offer a design studio one day, and maybe they open it in Chengdu. To me, it is very important to understand what's going on regarding design in Chengdu. I have to understand. If I do not understand it, I cannot try to support or to help. That means I have to move. Hello, pleasure meeting you. I'm Ralph. 为了办好二零二零年的 IF 设计新秀奖。拉尔夫专程与上百位设计行业的年轻人进行了一次面对面的专业交流，希望能深入了解成都青年设计师们的想法。我今天想问一下 Ralph 先生，因为我们其实也很在意说。
可持续发展这个问题，在对于这个奖项的考虑上，就除了材质、材质之外，然后有没有其他的，然后呃一些呃我们可以去探索的一些在设计上的思考点。Okay. okay. Today we should, no matter what we do, we should think about environmental friendly or sustainable. And I always like student work very much because we have to help them early enough to really understand what's necessary and valuable. So that means design on the one hand is really a little bit about education as well. To help people really learn in some way that plastic bottle cannot be the future. That paper cups is one of the most terrible things we use all over the world. The situation in this world is very, very critical right now regarding sustainability. So right now, we want to help the people and the industries in Chengdu to learn to understand what good design can mean. And everybody always says, "Oh, you know so many places and cities," but um, honestly, it's not true. I mean, I know many airports, I know many train stations, I know many hotels, um, I know many restaurants, many meeting rooms. I always regret that I don't have enough time for myself to explore a little bit. Maybe I have a weekend or so that I can really spend on my own and explore Chengdu a little bit more. That, that's what I wished.